All right, guys, today we are in a shop that fixes trailers, and it's kind of crazy. Look, at they have a ton of metal that they have all allocated towards fixing trailers, and they are crazy busy. machines and stuff. We'll have to check them out here in a minute. But uh, but today we've got Braxton here. Thank you so much for meeting up yeah, with me. Yeah, thank you. I do appreciate it. So this is your setup. This is awesome. So this will be the first Husky that we've had on the channel. I love how you have them like both together. How long have you had the had your setup here? Uh, it's kind of been incremental and things okay. get added, but I think I tied the two boxes together eight years ago. I probably bought the first box 10 years ago. Wow. Um, and then about two years later got the second one. So have these been holding up pretty good for you? Yeah, they've been awesome. I've like, I have had one set of drawer slides go bad, but then I called Husky and they sent new ones. And, oh, really? Um, they were really good to work with. So, um, but all the other drawer slides, like I haven't had any issues nice. with. And for the money, I, I don't know if I'd ever be able to switch. It's, it'd be tough to find the value that you can get out of one of these Husky right. boxes. Yeah. It's kind of similar to a, like a US General. They have the yeah like 44 inch mm -hmm. it's kind of similar to that but I, I really do like these the way these slides feel yeah that's awesome so you have this set up on uh, like a platform down here yeah that is awesome so every now and again we'd get trailers that were just too long uh-huh um just because they just build them longer and longer and yeah so we have got to like <laughs> looks like yeah, you have a lot of room so when yeah. they built the shop they're like 50 feet will be plenty long right. <laughs> put some racks on the back side but now it's toy haulers they just get longer and longer oh so sure every now and again we got to move them and it was a pain to try to move them with the eight casters and then oh, they'd kind of yeah pivot because it, it's just like sheet metal screws that are holding gotcha. the boxes together uh -huh. so then i built the one base and once i put it on that now it's just solid oh, yeah. and moves that's good awesome and, yeah so do they, are these the ones that came with the box these no so those are like way heavier the ones with <laughs> the do box look... were like plastic gotcha rollers and and I never had issues with them, but... Yeah, these look yeah, beefy. That's, I figured, with... That is cool. Spanning that much and loading them. Yeah. I probably should upgrade those. And so, so does this raise the box up? This yeah, portion? so it probably raised it, like, four or five inches. Oh, man. Um, that is sweet. From what and it was. So, so this, uh, this, like, hutch-looking thing? Yeah. Is this something that you put together? Yeah, so it's... My brother had the idea. Um, we had just like bins like this that were kind of on the side of our boxes. It just got cluttered, kind of like this one down here is now. But um, so he built that just for like the cans. I thought it was a good idea. You can access everything easy. Yeah. Um, and it then looks like once, he has the same, sorry, I didn't mean to catch yeah, up. No. He has the exact same yeah. setup over there, which is sweet. So uh, he did his and then I just kept filling up that. And so then I added a second row to just Oh, put yeah. a couple more and this this top here is this like a custom yeah top? so it's just two by fours um and then i just left it with like the wood look uh -huh. for probably like five or six years really um and i liked it but it was really hard to clean oh, and so i had a buddy okay. that did concrete coatings nice. and i asked him if he would come do it and then he wouldn't charge me for the product or anything yeah, so cool. it ended up being free to coat it this way but no way um, yeah. So this is like an epoxy? Yeah, so this is an epoxy, and so it wipes off way easier than the wood did. Oh, and, yeah. Um, should That's hold up awesome. for a long time. And so this just wraps around to hold this? Yeah, just to kind of, because you could see these boxes, they had like a wood topper on them, uh -huh. like half inch wood, gotcha. like butcher block. But then you could see the oh, seams yeah. and the bottoms of these two by fours are all the rounded edges. Oh, okay. Because I'm not a woodworker. And gotcha. So it's, kind of looks bad so i Man. just wrapped it in the aluminum no, that, that is sweet because then it looks like it's just one big box right that's perfect Man. so what all do you have up here i guess you just have a lot of uh like vice grips and some of your power tools and stuff yeah so uh um use these just all the time gotcha in a metal shop um i guess you guys must do a lot of welding yeah so we do a lot trailers. of welding and fabrication and um huh. so yeah i it just didn't seem like I had a good spot for those, so they just gotcha. hang right there. Yeah. So what type of uh, so I guess you do like a lot of utility trailers and 
and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, um, and it's kind of, it goes and flows. We'll have only boat trailers in one day. We'll only have horse trailers in another <laughs> day. It's kind of funny how it works out. But That's cool. Like cargo trailers, flatbed trailers, Yeah. a lot of RVs. and Nice. So, well, that's cool. Look, is, did you make that? Yeah. Look at I, that. I was just stressed out and I needed kind of a release and I <laughs> wanted to do something creative. So. Oh, that is perfect. Just, yeah. <laughs> Oh, like add on. Shotgun uh, there. So are these yeah. all your power tools that you have here? Yeah. Okay. So um, years ago, a Makita sales rep came in. I bought a drill. It was good. And then you buy one, and then it just, that's kind of what you commit to from sure. there on out. So yeah. um, I have those. The This is a Matco. Um, it was in his uh, yard sale drawer or whatever oh, gotcha. you call like it. The like bargain the bin? Used, yeah, yeah, the bargain bin. <laughs> Uh, so I picked that up. I love that because that's probably what I used like these little impacts for was with uh, just an adapter and then yeah. I'd throw a socket in there, but that kind of has a little more power and then... Sure. Um, so do you like this Matco then? I do. Um, I I don't know if I'd buy a new one or yeah. <laughs> like it, but it was a good deal and um, all my tools are orange and so nice. then it was like, might as well. Yeah, so, that's sweet. Yeah. Like, oh, your I like how your chargers are like they have like a platform. Yeah, like, cause stuff like that. I always had them down there, but I was always fighting it and having to two hand it. Yeah. But so I just built the little ledge, and nice. then it holds like all my wires. There's a power strip kind of oh. on the back side of it. Just, yeah. So it's all. That's cool. It's it's right so there. cool. Like being a welder, you can kind of build whatever you want. Yeah. It's, it's kind of neat. It is kind of nice. So all my air tools are in here. I've gone with. Matco, just I had a snap on impact uh -huh. um, when it was kind of dying. They had a promo on this one, so kind of switched, but then I just loved how that one performed. So yeah. then they came out with the stubby one, and um, we do a lot of like BW hitches on trucks. Oh, okay. And so you're up in those tight spaces underneath, and so. Uh, that's been helpful for under there. Nice. So um, you actually put hitches inside of like a, for like a fifth wheel kind of? Thing? Yeah. Oh, yep. sweet. So yeah. We got to drill holes in brand new trucks. And yeah. It's a little daunting sometimes, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. Um, the air hammer, I try not to use it. They're just so loud, oh, but yeah. every now and again, they're useful. Blue point. I haven't seen that very often. Is it hit pretty yeah. good? Yeah. It's, it seems to do nice. fine, but whenever I need that, it seems like it's really stuck and <laughs> yeah. need a lot bigger chisel and yeah, hammer and so for sure but yeah the air saw's been good i think this is like a one horsepower oh, nice. um i used to have like the harbor freight air saws and yeah they were fine for some of the aluminum but like that just goes and goes and yeah that's a awesome. bit will be the first thing that breaks it doesn't ever like bog down and oh sweet um and i bought my angle grinder we use these all the time pretty much almost exclusively with like these roll lock discs on them oh, okay just to clean spatter off or yeah. take your sharp edges off your metal yeah um and the week after they had like a buy one get one free oh but sweet. i didn't i just oh, paid full price no. for both so that was kind of a bummer <laughs> dang it um this is kind of neat yeah. what is that yeah so it's i bought it just because it's your cutoff wheel but um, it's got, you can what? adjust the angle on it. And then this one's got like a forward and reverse, so you can throw the sparks oh. the way you want them. Genius, yeah. Um, which is why it has the nut on it gotcha. instead of your traditional, just like tighten it down so it doesn't right. loosen as it's spinning. So, and then just like a air drill, just when we're doing like putting a new decking on a trailer gotcha. and just drilling like thousands of holes. For oh it. yeah. <laughs> so then it's nice to not have like a battery just sure hook yeah. it up that's all that that's probably the most expensive drawer cool um this is my pliers drawer most of these are all snap on okay so all the orange are snap on i think these are nipex or oh, i don't yeah. know what the yeah. proper yeah. um but those are both snap on those are klein snap on snap ring pliers oh. um, so do you guys get all the trucks out here like snap on and Matco coming out to the yeah, shop? Yeah, so Matt Cone Snap-on come every week, and then Cornwall just started coming because we hired a new guy. He had an account, oh, and so then yeah. he brought the Cornwall guy. Like, but, I'm going to have to come visit yeah. you at that shop. I, That's cool. Yeah, and yeah. I like this this plier rack. It, it, doesn't, it seems like usually they're way bigger, but I guess you could always cut them down. But. So this one I did cut down. You did? Okay, it was, yeah. Um, probably like that gotcha long. yeah yeah and these drawers are perfect size because you can just barely fit these uh, yeah and 
if your channel locks are opened up at all, they'll hit. Oh, gotcha. And maybe that's one of the downfalls, like your snap on the Matco boxes are gonna be a little deeper on the shallow drawers. Right, yeah. And, um, but it seems to work. So that's that drawer. I got my screwdriver drawer. This has been one of like my favorite sets yeah, that I, I got kind of. I think it's some work. Man. Yeah, they've been through the ringer. And yeah. <laughs> this is my, probably my favorite expensive screwdriver. Just oh, yeah. like doing the plugs on the front of trailers. You're just all these little screws. Oh, and so sure, It's yeah. nice to have like a ratcheting one for that. It yeah. just fits in your hand real yeah, quick. absolutely. Um, these, I heated up and bent. Oh, okay. um, just cause like a normal pry bar, I use it to adjust brakes uh -huh. on backing plates. And that's just been super nice. helpful and you get so much more leverage yeah. if they're rusty. And, and then just your files, um, your brake shoe spring, yeah. like hooks and uh, upholstery pop nice. things. And so, so have you always been doing uh, like trailers or did you do like a different industry at one point? So like in high school, I worked at like a plumbing supply. Oh, nice. um, then I left the plumbing supply and came oh, over gotcha. here. So nice. It is good. So, so you've been doing trailers ever since? Yeah. So cool. uh, like 12 or 13 years. No way. So, wow. That's yeah. a long time. It's been good. Um, and then this is just kind of like that miscellaneous drawer. like. Um, I've got these files that we use to clean like truck plugs oh, and trailer yeah. plugs. Um, just a lot of corrosion gets on them. And, gotcha, yeah. And then just random fittings. My uh, Allen wrenches ended up in here with wire brushes nice. and Teflon. And, and yeah, that's that. Down here it's just like a cutting mask and a grinding oh, mask. Sweet. So, I like how uh, how deep these drawers are though. Yeah. They fit a bunch of stuff in there. The bottom, all four. Yeah. It's kind of nice. That's awesome. So, and that's, and in this one I've got like my snap on welding helmet. Yeah. Um, I, that looks nice. Holy so God. my helmet that I used to have, the battery wasn't replaceable, so it died. So I needed a helmet like that day. Uh -huh. This is what snap on had on their truck. <laughs> I was like, the light's dumb. Like right. nobody's going to use that. But since having it, uh -huh. like, it's like the best thing I've ever really? had. Like it's so handy. Wow, like wow. when you're underneath a trailer, it's dark to begin with, sure. just to kind of see. And then as you're stopping welding to kind of see what you've got, where yeah. your next spot is. So do so, you have to flip the whole, or because if you flip the thing up, doesn't the light move away? Or I guess yeah. you can still see through Yeah, it. and so you flip the light up and then it's just, but you don't have the darker lens. Right, and, yeah. and you can twist oh, this okay. um, yeah. to whatever angle. So nice. if it is up, you want it, your light, you can just turn yeah, it. Yeah, that's cool. Um, just knee pads when you're sealing a whole roof or cleaning oh, it. You're yeah. just like on your knees all day on top yeah. of a roof. That's something you kind of forget about when you're yeah. and then, you like, go you, home and like your knees are just <laughs> done. <laughs> yeah, so, um, but that's that. Um, this is, I've got my drill bits. This is just your normal set. Okay. Um, but I had a job where I was doing some stainless steel uh -huh. and they had these like hyper step bits. Oh yeah, um, Matco's. And these are all lifetime warranty above quarter inch. Okay. So I was like, well, I'll get that. And it, they actually work super awesome through nice. even like stainless. So I've been super happy with those. Yeah. These are my normal brake spoons for adjusting brakes. And then just like all your different scrapers, putty yeah. knives. Um, I really like these Matco ones that have that really stiff edge. Yeah, those the are scrapers. Like, like thick. Nice. Yeah. Um, I was sick of fumbling through all my punches and chisels to find flat or round. Right. So then I just built the tray to. I didn't even notice that. That's separate sweet. them. And so like all my round punches are over here. Yeah. All the flat ones are over there, and it ah. saves me a lot of. And so time. this is like riveted in so it doesn't move around and stuff? Yeah, because I, I didn't put an end on this side. I oh, thought okay. it would just kind of stay. Yeah. But as you open and close your doors, oh, it yeah. always cheat its way up. Oh, and gotcha. So then I just put rivets in to keep it from sliding. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, that's that drawer. This is my socket drawer. I actually bought this wrench like last week because of your channel. Really? And, <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, I, I just need to get one. Like I've always had just like cheap Harbor Freight ones. And, uh -huh. And they work for what I do. Like yeah. I'm not like turning bolts all day long, but, um, and they were fine, but I decided I'd try yeah. to get a snap on I one. I love that. So this so, is like the small body, but it has the three eighths. Yep. So it's got the three eighths. Wow, um, man. I, so I used it for the first time 
yesterday, I think. Uh -huh. And uh, I wish I would have spent the 20 extra bucks to get the one that locks in the oh, angle. Oh, gotcha. Because yeah. this one's just the free floating one. <laughs> and like it works, but yeah. I wish I would have got the one that locked so yeah. it's not. That's sweet. And it has like an updated handle. Like, yeah, I haven't that's seen like, uh, anybody with that. That's sweet. Yeah, so I liked the handle on awesome. that. All my impacts down here and then just kind of nice. all the random stuff, swivels, adapters, extensions, torque stick. Yeah, I like kinda. this tray. This is the Matco one. Yeah, there. so that's a Matco one. Um, kind of the same thing. Like I just had them on the, like these trays, but uh, they just, uh -huh. you'd close your drawer and they slide all over oh, yeah, and trying yeah, to yeah. like pull it off of the end. And, yeah. Like it was just full. And so I saw the tray and I was like, we'll give it a shot. And yeah, that's like I really perfect. like it. That's like, you yeah, because you can adjust all these like dividers. They're oh, just magnetic. Yeah. yeah. So uh, they just yeah. like stick down nice. wherever you want them. The next drawer is just like, this is where I put my wallet, my nice. keys, my phone. The fingernail polish is strictly for tools. It's not because I have some weird <laughs> fetish, um, but like, yeah. The yellow is like my 5 sixteenths, the blue is my 3 eighths, oh, red's wow. a quarter. So just, you mark like all of your... So all the bits, the bits. and then okay. they don't get mixed up with other people's in the shots. Yeah. Like, is this my bit, is it not? Huh. And then like my snap-on bits, like everything with green on it is a snap-on bit. Oh, okay. And that way, I've tried warranting a bit one time. He's like, that's not my part number. <laughs> I was like, oh, I thought it was. Uh -huh. So this just, I know it's snap-on, I know it's Matco. Wow. I know what tips they have on. If it's a blue, it's like a Phillips. Yeah, that's perfect. So that's, that's been super nice. I've seen guys where they, they'll do it, they'll just do one color and it's just for all of their tools. Yeah. So that, you know, they don't get mixed up with somebody else's tools. Yeah. But that's genius where you yeah. have them. And nobody else paints them, so yeah. it's pretty. That is awesome. It works. I got like my tire tread depth gauge. Um, oh, wow. I like this one better than like this style. Yeah, that's fancy. It's just like so much easier to see if you're right, like yeah. at the two thirty seconds, huh. as opposed to this. That's kind of right. Yeah. Um, huh. Leaves some to be desired. So I like that. I always like drop my pocket knives and flashlight lights or. Uh -huh in the wash, so I always try to keep a couple extra oh, yeah. in here. So do you have a go-to light that you use? Uh, uh, so this basis? is, so actually, I don't like these ones that charge, because oh, okay. they go dim. Oh, okay. And so I'd rather just replace it with a new battery and uh -huh. have it work till, it, um, but this style with like the hat clip, that's yeah. what I like, that's huh. what I'm used to. It fits in my pocket, that and is then- awesome. I just have it there. Wow. And so as often as we're under trailers, it's yeah. like, it's nice to not have to go grab like your puck light or oh, okay. anything like that. Like I, To be honest, I've never seen them that small before. Yeah. Usually they're like, a, you know, as big as a pen. Yeah, so it's like the micro stream micro is what stream. it is. Interesting. So it's the stream light, but huh. they have the micro stream. And then this measures like airflow. Um, I think that's its primary purpose, but I got it to measure like the wind temperature. So when you're testing like a AC or a heater, like uh -huh. your furnace, yeah. um, with like the laser ones, you're just testing like the temperature of whatever surface. Uh -huh. But this will actually give you like the air temperature as it blows through that hole. No way. It gives you the actual air temperature coming out. So wow. that's nice for when we're working on furnaces and air conditioners yeah. to make sure those are working. That's awesome. Um, that's yeah. sweet. Uh, so that's that whole side. Uh, this side, the bigger handfuls that I can't fit oh, gotcha. in the other drawers. Um, and then these, I call them swedgers. I don't know what their real name is. Those but are massive. Like when you have a cable, you put the copper ring on it uh -huh. and then to crimp it. Wow. Um, so what, what kind of cables are you crimping here? So on a lot of tent trailers, they have cable lift systems. So you have to oh, okay. like make your own cables or okay. um, things like that. And then just like your exhaust nice. remover. Yeah. Uh, That's a massive hammer. And I, I was back and forth on whether to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> and they caught me at a weak moment and I bought it. It's how they get you. Like, and I've never regretted it yeah. since. It's just like holding like a full sledgehammer, but it's a lot more compact. Oh, you yeah. can really swing it. Uh, so I, I love it. And like a metal shop, like, when there's body damage or uh -huh. just like twisted metal or whatever, um, it actually comes in handy quite awesome. a bit. These bars are like 
to adjust the cable systems on the back of a trailer, like your ramp doors. Oh, You've got okay. your cams, and so huh. these go in and you can... Is that for like the springs, like you're yeah. adjusting the springs? Uh -huh. So the round springs on that huh. rod, this is to adjust wow. those. Sounds, sounds dangerous. <laughs> it's, um, it can be, like yeah. if you don't have the right tools or you're yeah. not sure what you're doing, but like I've never had anything happen nice. so and then yeah I've got all my wrenches I hardly ever use metric because okay. we don't work on cars a whole lot oh so trailers um, are like standard. pretty standard just huh. like half inch bolts three really? quarter bolts these are all like gear inch they were a cheaper one uh -huh. um, but all my standard ones I bought like a smaller set and then all the other ones I ended up buying one at a time one at okay. a time <laughs> and I should have bought just two sets, but <laughs> that's just kind of how it happened. Yeah, that's sweet. Um, so that's so those point. are all blue point. Yeah. Um, and I've been happy with them. Oops. I've never gotten that stuff. <laughs> so. so this is kind of, when I'm putting a wrench on like a, a nut and using my impact gun on the other side, uh -huh. I just like the fixed ones. Yeah. And, uh, and they're the Harbor Freight, they're Pittsburgh, but I actually love that they're thinner sometimes. Doing a BMW head, she can't get anything in there. Uh -huh. This gives me like a second wrench to nice. the other three quarters and stuff. Yeah. Then just arbors, uh, the 10 millimeter, I bought a snap on one of those just because between the 10 and like a three eighths, those are like on all the hydraulic lines we use on boats like oh, that. So that's why I have those wrenches kind of separate. Um, then I had, I bought this set once before, and then when you take tools home and you don't know what it is, you always <laughs> take your crescent wrenches. Right. And then they just like disappeared till like this was it, oh. all I had. So I bought these, <laughs> they actually came in this last week. Um, nice. But I, I just really liked the grips on them. Yeah, that and, is a nice grip. Yeah, that's... and so they never had them like on the truck, that's sweet. except the first time I bought them, which is why. Uh -huh. And then I, took this one out I was like get me that set <laughs> yeah. and uh, so yeah and then just your rivet guns your tin snips scissors for carpet for bunk boards or uh -huh. whatever this is a nice set here this like the torque yeah so these um I bought a snap on one and just yeah useful on all sorts of odd jobs yeah so these are awesome for going through like firewalls when we're running like uh putting airbags on a truck and you need to run the wiring and air hoses oh, through okay. the firewall into the cab yeah. or hard wiring or brake controller. Um, those are nice to go through like any rubber grommets huh. and then you can fish your wire all the way through oh. and then you pull it out and your wires. That's in. Wow. Yeah. And these have like different sizes. No. Oh, uh, you can change them out. That's yeah. cool. So, and then you've got your short ones wow. if you don't have a lot of space. So they, I don't yep. use them often, but when I do, yeah, that is they're, like I, I thought it just made a hole. I was like, well, that's yeah. kind of cool, but if it's yeah. down all the way through, but it goes through. So you put this through wow. first, and then it's easy to just oh, push your wires through. That's cool. Um, so yeah, that's kind of um, helpful and handy. Yeah. So and this is another kind of drunk drawer, just all those random papers and uh -huh. instruction manuals, things like that. But I keep like my oil filter wrenches in there. And I kept buying different ones, thinking one might be better than the other. And, um, I use this one the most, though. Okay. Um, it goes the tightest. And gotcha. On some of the generators we service, nice. the other ones are too big. So huh. um, I always found the spring one was always my. Oh, that one's kind of weird. It like yeah. opens up all sorts of different directions. Huh. Yeah. So. But uh, yeah, the, I like the spring. I don't know. Yeah. It's, I guess it's all preference. Just to like keep that tension on. Right. Yeah. Sometimes on like trailer like the dust caps uh -huh. if they get loose or sloppy i just uh set the cap on top of this take my cap setter and then give it like a little ping and it kind of flares oh. out all the ends evenly huh. so then when you put it in your hub it yeah. fits tight huh. um, and then these are just different size cap setters for all like your dust caps on um so yeah uh next it's one of those junk drawers uh, there's a lot of like, these are like obsolete. And so if a customer comes in, I try to keep them here. What is it? So this is, takes the place of like a dust cap. On some boats, they have different oil bath systems. Um, and this is one of them. Oh, so the huh. hub is actually threaded, but you can't get them. But if oh, they're just trying okay. to get through town or 
till they can. Huh. Um, I just keep stuff like that in there. That's interesting. But this is, uh, I don't know if you've seen these. No, that looks cool. But your water hose, it's basically like a pressure washer what? without all the engine. So you can hook that your water up, cool. your air, and then it's just like your normal what? air trope. And then you can stop it or let it go. Wow. So that's, is it like is it pretty strong stream? Yeah, it's a pretty strong. So wow. it's not quite as strong as like a engine like gas powered uh -huh. pressure sprayer, but like um, I use it like on four wheelers when I come back just to get like mud and stuff yeah, off. Yeah, that it is It actually genius. works really good, and like on trailers, it's like soft wow. enough you're not peeling paint, but strong enough to like get the stuff. Yeah. So and so this closes the water off. Yep. Okay. So you can just leave your water on nice. as you're going. Huh cleaning it whatever so, so cool and then i keep like rather than buying the new headrests from for like my creepers and stuff oh okay yeah i just buy like the marine vinyl from joann's and huh. then i rewrap them i need to rewrap it again yeah. so you must use creepers a lot here then. yeah Do just you? like on trailers you're underneath yeah, I guess you're like, so often there's no uh, lifts for like a trailer huh? yeah <laughs> and you're welding underneath so that's a lot of the oh, holes okay. but i actually found like the marine vinyl it kind of like melts instead of like, so it doesn't tear apart and it takes a lot longer for it to crack uh, than okay. whatever Snap-on uses on theirs. Huh, that's so interesting. it was actually just trying to be cheap and it weren't a, ended up being like a better fix oh, nice. for me. I did have in here just like a, a hot knife, I think they call it. Huh, yeah. so every now and again, a piece of styrofoam to cut or oh, trying okay. to get some sealant off or a rubber seal that's peeled off um every now and again it comes in handy yeah. just that's kind of neat yeah so for somebody that uses creepers a lot is this one that you would recommend like this? yeah it's it's like a basic one i do you know who makes this one so this is snap on one. Oh, this is snap -on. Okay. um and so it has like all the snap on casters this is probably like my fourth or fifth set oh no way um so they warranty the caster yep on? so they're lifetime warranty oh, okay. and like all of my warranty it's not because the bearings go out it's just because i collect so much spatter in them oh, from welding okay um that they just get huh. logged and That's they've nice. always been really good about that but yeah it's just got the your normal headrest oh, yeah. with like your fixed solid bar huh. so well, that's that there's oh my gosh the good drawer <laughs> right so holy cow um, but it's like so deep yeah yeah well there's <laughs> It's another junk drawer, so it's not okay. like all okay. snacks. Like, <laughs> like I wish like it was. It's just completely full of yeah. So it's <laughs> chocolate and stuff. Um, like every, probably every six months, I'll lift that up. And oh, okay. There's something under there that I'm looking for. <laughs> that's so, yeah. cool. Like if you have your kids come over, though, like just yeah. dig in there. Like so, that's good. Nice. Um, hammers. These hammers are my favorite. The snap-on ones. Uh -huh. um, I'd really like a full set of them, but. Mm. I kind of have what I need, and so, um, but yeah, a couple different mallets, like a mini sledge is good. This is what I would use when I needed a big hammer oh, okay. until I got that green one. Oh, gotcha, And so, yeah. but it's been good. Um, but then this little ball peen hammer, it's nice for like little chisels and punches, yeah. and I, I actually like that I one a lot. I have a thing lot. for like these wooden, wooden hammers, wooden like ham the old yeah. one. So it's this like, was just... like one that came out of like my, um, grandpa's shed when he passed away oh, okay and I actually broke um, when I'm hitting wrenches I have a really bad habit of just hitting the wrench right here oh. so it doesn't slide off or like it's a bad habit uh -huh. but it works really well uh -huh. and uh, I should have had a different hammer but this was laying next to me uh, I hit it the wood uh, broke dang. and then so then I just cut this down oh. and I actually kind of like it being shorter yeah it's nice um, but it was like that long huh. but so yeah that's like perfect length yep uh, so these um, like right angles just welding them together for like oh, a okay. frame on like square tubing those are nice yeah and then just like the bits that you don't ever use oh yeah <laughs> but uh every now and again like, yeah and then in here you have like your impact screwdrivers. Oh, that's um, a nice one. Yeah, so, and I, oh, 
I didn't realize a bit was broken. But <laughs> I think I break a bit almost every time I use it. But when it works, it's awesome. Yeah. And it works really good. So uh, this set is to measure like water columns. So we use it to check like a LP, like a propane system on oh, camp trailer. Okay. So anytime we break a line, we need to hook it back up and make sure it's not leaking. There's not leaks elsewhere. Uh -huh. um, so this will just hold the pressure and then you wait 10 minutes huh. and then if it hasn't dropped here. And then this is like my thread chasing set. Oh yeah, that's a solid um, set. I bought the one, there was some vans. The threads would always get like super rusted and these would break off in them. Oh. And so that's why I got like the big, the actual um, the tap. tap cool. instead of the chasers huh. um, for those. But nice. those come in handy. Um, and then just all your different easy outs that nobody ever wants to use. <laughs> no. um, nobody wants to use like most of the stuff in here. Right? <laughs> like, and then have you seen these ones that uh, oh, yeah. you drill the hole, put the rod in. Yeah, those are sweet. And then you can slide the barrel down uh -huh. and you don't have all your torque up at the top. It's yeah, right next yeah, to yeah. it. So. It's kind of funny because all of these tools, like you want to have all of them at your disposal. And but you don't wrong. ever want to use no, them. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> as far as everything on top, um, I did, this is a DeWalt just because overlaying a roof we, uh, for like a rubber roof system, we pulled the whole roof off. Uh -huh. And when you're overlaying it, we put sealant between the new sheet of wood and all the old stuff. And it's just like, so uh, many yeah. like tubes of sealant oh man so i was like i'm gonna buy one i'm gonna buy one uh i i don't know if makita makes one but will Wright lumber had only had a dewalt so i was like nice my brother has a dewalt we have a couple of dewalt tools in the shop so i just bought it nice for for that when i'm going through like a whole oh, bunch sweet and so does like how so does it go the call oh okay yeah, that, so, okay gotcha uh, i just take that off so i can yeah, store that makes it. Sense. Yeah, that'd be a huge time saver. Yeah, and a, like a knuckle saver. Yeah, yeah. Um, just earplugs. These I just I saw them on the Snap-on truck week <laughs> after week, and I was like, those will be cool. Yeah, and I wish I didn't buy them. Really? Like they're just they're not practical. I don't know if it's because I got a small head. They said some people just like wear them like that, but they always tip and fall. And interesting. Or if I think they're made to be on your neck, but uh -huh. just my application, like I'm never standing up. Right. If you're standing up, it's great, but like yeah. I'm always like laying down. Yeah, if you're like under there. It's yeah. like I did have like one of the magnets come out. Um, I bought it right before like one of my hunting trips. And I was like, I'll take it with me, leave it in my pack. Yeah. Um, but I had them hanging on like my rear view mirror. Uh -huh. And then like I looked up and this was gone. Oh no. But the magnet was still in there. So that came out. That was, huh. um, but they're rechargeable. Huh. Um, but it is kind of a cool feature. You can yeah. remove them. Up on top, um, oh, yeah. so I've got like a sawzall, just like a hand torch grinder. What is that? So this is a vacuum. Those are granola bars. <laughs> but, um, so this is just like a little oh, Lakita, huh? compact vacuum. Huh. Um, sometimes when you're in trailers or doing an event, yeah. there's all the dust and or wood shavings that end up falling out of the ceiling. Uh -huh. the ceiling. So it's just nice to be able to get these like off like the master bed because mm. there's a vent right above it. Yeah. Things like that, just clean it up. Does it have pretty good suction? Yeah, it's not gonna be like your shot backs right. that are like corded, but like it works pretty good. This socket set has been probably my favorite socket set. Oh yeah. Another one of those things like wasn't sure if I should buy it or not. Yeah. I ended up buying it and I really That's super um, complete. Love oh, it. Wow. Just, Comes um, like a ratchet and everything. Huh? Yeah, so it has your ratchet, your like hand driven one, nice. swivels. But yeah, it's just a good like all around set. Yeah. That's something that you can take with you like on a trip or something. And that's so I've actually bought another <laughs> set <laughs> just to leave in my truck because nice, I was like yeah. it's just nice to have you go to grab a socket have like a decent one that's right. not just like your pittsburgh awesome um and then i have my torque wrench that's a cool compartment you got over <laughs> yeah that's so my block that i made uh -huh. over hung on purpose because i didn't have anywhere like in my drawers for this oh, so okay. I was like, i'll just go past yeah so block I mean, that's that like in a, yeah i used to have hooks on that side but 
huh. when I put the vice on, I drill in it sometimes. And oh, gotcha. Rather yeah. than getting my sweaters with shavings, I just uh -huh. took those off. But oh, um, that's a nice so it's my one. torque wrench. Yeah. I had a snap on one. Uh, the end that they had had like plastic threads uh -huh. instead of like um, these brass threads. Uh huh. And uh, it kept like breaking and just wasn't ideal. Huh. So I traded that one in, got this one. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and it's. That's weird it's that good. it's reverse thread. Why is that? So I don't know if it's just uh, when you're pushing down on it, like. Oh. If, oh, okay. So it doesn't. I don't know why they did that, but does that work pretty well for you? Yeah. So every trailer that comes in and out, if we ever touch the wheels, we'll just retorque everything. Oh, gotcha. Um, and so nice. Then it's always safe for them. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So that's that. Awesome. Um, and then the last thing was like my stool. That's like a Frankenstein. Look at you that. You buy like the O'Reilly stool. Uh huh. Use the casters till they break. <laughs> And then I had snap-on casters so I could just warranty them. Yeah. But uh, a coworker bought a stool and they had like these clear casters. Kind of like rollerblade wheels. Yeah. And That's they didn't sweet. seem to pick up the spatter as much as like the plastic ones. Huh. So I actually just welded those on this week. No way. Um, but, uh, and then the seat was like, we had some old boat seats like this that we were throwing away. Uh, so I just grabbed it, put that on uh, instead of like the thin board. So it's got so a lot awesome. more cushion. The plastic tray in the broke or bottom broke out. So I've just bent up a piece of aluminum, screwed it in That's and called cool. it a day. So I kind of just leave all my electrical stuff over here. Okay. I got like my little torch, my crimper strippers, nice. and then like your bigger crimpers over here. But then, uh, I have like my battery tester uh, oh, that's for nice. like 12 volt batteries. Yeah. Um, uh, just your multimeter, just kind of standard one. Sweet. And then I do like the test light that has like the digital readout. Oh, okay. Um, super handy on like all the 12 volt things that we yeah. do here. Have you seen these test lights? Yeah, they're the, like the, the non -grounded. They ground through yeah. your body or yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's and cool. So those are cool. Um, I use it every now and again. And nice. If I do need like an incandescent, I'll hook this on it and it's got that? like a bulb. So oh, it's that's just like a test light, huh? Yeah, so it's just a test light and then uh, you've got your pin. Oh, what? So uh, you that, like, put your wire inside it, huh? there and then you can pierce your wire Whoa. and hook that up. And there's up. a bulb in here. Yep, and then there's just like an incandescent bulb in there that oh, will wow. light up. So huh. every now and again I have to get it out, but not, not very that's often. Most of the time I have something else huh. and then i'll just take this tray with like my heat shrink connectors oh, okay, yeah. just under the trailer with me use these a lot for eyelets and grounds and um screwing lights onto trailers yeah. things like that so that's pretty much it and uh so these are some of the bigger bigger things that you use wow, look at um, all this stuff, like stock I'll metal just grab that's awesome. So this is like my favorite That's machine. That's a huge. Um, it's called the Piranha. It's an iron worker. Um, but uh, it's got, it's just so versatile. Um, this looks dangerous. <laughs> yeah, it's, cut your fingers yeah. off. Um, but yeah, so really like you can notch out whatever you want. Wow. And it's just like clean, super fast. Um, just like whatever you've got. Um, Whoa. Over here it'll cut like your angle iron. And this is like a uh, eighth inch thick, but like it'll cut quarter and whatever. Oh, wow. um, but yeah, you just slide it in to whatever you want. Okay. And then... Uh, Where does it go? Does so it... then it just comes out on the other side. Um, no way. Right there. It has a stop. So if you're cutting a lot of the pieces, you can set a back wow, stop. Okay. Um, that thing cut like effortlessly. Yeah, it's Jeez. just like so fast and it's so clean. Yeah. Um, Versus then, like a like a chop saw or something. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would save so much and time. And then like flat iron, like that's like half inch stock, and it'll cut like 12 inches oh, okay. wide. So, but you just put it in, it goes down like half Jeez. inch. Jeez, like that is. Oh my gosh. 
That's and, uh, and then like on the other side, it's got... Yeah, there's so many tools in one. Yeah, so we used to manufacture, so they had like all the equipment, but huh. then it's hard to like compete with like an assembly line. Uh-huh. So they, um, we got out of manufacturing, but we still have all this equipment. Um, but like you can bend kind of whatever yeah. by hand. Um, there's this attachment that will go up here with this on the bottom, uh -huh. and then it'll just punch uh, holes through. Wow. Um, and so you've got holes like up to like one Whoa. inch, and you know, it'll just go through of any of that like <laughs> effortlessly. So that's like my favorite tool. It's just like super that is awesome. fast and easy. Then we have the shear just for like any of like our sheet metal. Okay. Um, super fast, um, easy, clean cuts. But uh, you can just set the thickness that you want. Um, you can take your metal. This will, if you go right up against here, it's square, but if you wanted a five inch piece, just move that in, push it against the back stop, and then you've got the foot pedal. Holy cow! So, but you can cut uh, like 10 foot sheets in here. Wow. Um, and so, oh my god. Yeah, gosh. that's super handy. The hand brake. Um, what is that? It's a hand brake, so uh, let me grab. Um, but yeah, you just mark it wherever you want. Uh -huh. uh, pull that down, and then you can just like oh bend it gosh. by hand. That is cool. Um, and so that's nice on like your thinner material. It gives you uh -huh. pretty tight bends. Um, and then normally all this scaffolding's over there, uh -huh. but uh, we can walk around it and I'll show you. This is one, I feel like this is the most dangerous machine in the shop <laughs> just because like it doesn't stop for anything. Oh, I was like, I'm going to stand um, behind. Yeah. This looks like maybe it's going to. Yeah. <laughs> um, but you can set your, we have different dies. Um, this is like a, our smallest die, okay. which would be fine for like this thinner stuff. Um, but on that rack over there, there's bigger dies that you can bend like quarter inch plate okay. um, and things like that. But uh, you can you can kind of just go slow with it, um, and, uh, and uh, wow. but yeah, it just can go like super fast. You can flip it over, kind of just. Oh my gosh, that's um, effortless. But yeah, so that's super cool. That's and wild. a built-in notepad all over it. You can see all the measurements. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, so. Wow. I can show you a plasma table if you want. Let it's, me grab. It's like a plasma cutter? Yeah, so. What? Turn this on. So this is cool. It has a lot of like basic shapes. And so uh -huh. we use this a lot. Like if we're cutting out a gusset, oh, want it radiused or whatever, but um, we can edit like the shapes on it. Um, so if you want to do like a circle, any of these shapes, oh, yeah. um, it kind of has a lot of like preset. Um, but if we wanted to do a circle, we just click on that. If you want either a hole in your plate or a piece, it depends on which end oh, yeah. it'll like go out. So they have like, you can draw up things. Uh, I don't know if you saw the Batman symbol on like I the did. front of my car. Yeah. So that was something that was cut out. They were like trying it. We're going to throw it away. But I just started working here. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. I threw it on. It's not I'm a huge Batman fan. I just thought it was cool. Oh, so. That's so cool. Um, but that was cut out on here. Um, so they can make kind of whatever shape they want. Um, and then you can move this over just oh, to where you want it. You can manually raise that tip up and down. Um, if you're cutting a lot, um, it's got the water in it, you can pump air in it and it'll 
fill up that bladder. Oh, okay. Just so it's not as smoky. Um, but yeah, I can just like trace out my symbol, make sure it's kind of where you want it. Oh, okay. Um, and so then once it's there, I uh, I won't look because of I don't have my glasses, but yeah. <laughs> um, turn that over, and then we can just push start, and then. Oh, that is kind of awesome. And that then, is so fast. Yeah, it's wow fast, and you can so on like your bigger material like this, you'll slow it down a lot. Okay. It's not like the water tables now that it's just pressure and really Man. awesome. Um, and then that piece is Look like what that. it cut out. And then wow. Just grind the edges. So it's it's an older machine. It's not like super super fine, but. Um, for what we use, it's no. That is um, that is awesome. so you can see like some of the gussets they've yeah. cut out, and I imagine when they're whatever they were gusseting, there was a weld right here, oh, so okay. the gusset just goes around it and Man. just things like that. So huh. we're not locked in over here. Many field trips here. I know. Huh? This is awesome. Um, so yeah, then we have our cold cut saw. Um, it lubricates the blade as you're going. Oh, wow. Um, so is this like a slow? Cut? Yeah, so it just, huh. the blade goes slow, but it's just like your chop saw, but um, when you're cutting a lot, like if you're ever building a trailer or truck bed, like cutting channel, tubing, uh -huh. it's just so nice to have. Uh, you can change the angles on this, oh. uh, it pivots, but uh, I like this one. Our last model didn't have this arm, but uh, it'll go, and then it'll hold both sides of your material. So if this is overhanging, oh, once you gotcha, cut it, yeah. it just doesn't go Oh yeah, flop. okay, I see, yeah. So, um, but yeah, it comes down, then there's just a little trigger. Um, Holy just like, crap! Yeah, that so. That cut it like nothing. Yep, so just pretty fast, wow. clean, and. Uh, That's wild. Like, Cause that would be like taking like, like two minutes on a regular chop saw. Like. Yeah, just like, um, Man. and like we can cut like the stock, just like the solid bar. And obviously it takes a lot longer to sure. go through that. Like that's pretty thin. So these stuff, blades, do you have to like change them often? Yeah, well, I wouldn't say often, but uh, we take them off. Um, and then once we get like five or six of them, we actually send them to a company in Salt Lake that sharpens them. No. I don't know if it's the same company that makes the machine, but huh. um, so they'll just resharpen them and ship them back. That is that is seriously awesome. Yeah. God, I love it. Man, well, thank you so much for uh, yeah. taking your time out thank of your you. day. Thank to... you. Appreciate it. No, this is this has been really sweet. So. Gosh, hope you guys hope you guys enjoy this. I, I've never been in a shop that just does exclusively trailers like this. That's really cool. Till the next one. We'll see you.